Hello and welcome to this Edexcel GCSE Geography video on exam skills where we look at the command words and key terms. Uh, this is part two of the series and this one again is looking at the point marked questions and in particular we're focusing on the explain and suggest questions. Now please note that this video is only seen as an overview of the key patterns that we've seen in the past and the information we've had from the exam board. There may be some variations to this in the way that you answer and structure your questions but this will give you a good starting point and give you a bit of an understanding of what to expect within the exam. Now as we looked in the last video this is from the uh, examiners from the specification and it shows you the different kinds of exam questions along with the different marks that should be available for each one. But again, we'll know from the first series that sometimes you might get identifying state two different things. So you might get more marks than that. So, but this gives you a really good overview of how much the marks are worth. Now also, it's important to remember that on papers one and two, there isn't a foundation or a higher thing. Everything is mixed together and the differentiation comes from the type of questions. The knowledge questions, the basic ones, your key terms and math skills and geographical skills are worth about 30%. If you get all those right, that's about a grade three thereabouts. The understanding questions is where you have to give reasons for things. Show that it's not just about knowing basic stuff, but it is understanding them and applying them to the questions. So this would take you up to about a grade five or six if you got all of those and the knowledge ones right. And then the application questions, this is really the differentiation for the higher level. This is pushing you to the sevens to grade nines here. And we'll look at the examine, assess and evaluate in a couple of different videos that you'll be able to see later. So remember as well that you need to know basic math skills because they come to about 10% of the questions, geographical skills, map skills, uh, interpreting resources, um, the map skills is 10% and then questioning resources is about 40% of the questions include that. Now some of these maths questions may be identify, state, they may be draw, plot. The map skills ones may be identify or state. So again, you'll get some of the questions, you'll have to address the command word as well as the geographical or math skill there. But we covered this in the first video. So we're going to look at explain questions. These are a bit more complex because they can be worth different marks and how many marks they're worth um, can depend on how you have to answer it and how you have to structure your answer. So read the question, but also the marks available. Now, as a general rule, for two marks, you need to state a point and give a developed reason. For three marks, you need to state a point give a developed reason and then extend it to show well what does it mean what does it lead to or it could be a possible example if it's a resource for four marks it could be an extended 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 reason or you may be able asked to give two points but read the question carefully does it ex say explain one factor in which case it needs to be this extra extension. Or does it say explain two reasons or two factors? In which case there should be a one and two in the written paper so you'll know what you've got to do. You've got to develop your answers. You've got to state a point and give reasons why or how and what may happen because of it. And it's important to use key connectives. This means that so, then, next, which, that causes, caused by, leads to. You know, these are the basic things which help you to show you are developing your answers. So let's have a look at some of the different marked answers there. So first of all, this one, explain one way rock type leads to the formation of headlands. Explain one way. So you've got to make one point and explain it, link it in. It's worth two marks here. So it's a relatively straightforward question. So have a go, ask yourself, how would you answer that question? You can pause it and I'll show you the mark scheme in a second. So look at how it's marked. 
you get one mark for a point about the rock type and then a further mark for the development of how it leads to headlands. So it might be hard rock, more resistant, will erode more slowly. Less resistant rocks will erode more rapidly, forming bays in between the headlands. So you can see you can give all different ideas, but notice you get a mark for the point and then a mark for the extension. Note the connective here, will, 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 will. That is showing that they're developing the points there. Now we're going to look at a three marker. So explain one reason why more heat energy is received at the equator than at the poles. Three marks. So here you've got to extend it. One factor is this. This means that which that leads to. And that's important that you get that extension in for the three marks. It's often where people lose marks because they don't extend it for the three. So have a go at that. Pause the video. Have a go at that now. So you get one mark for identifying a reason and a further two marks for the expansion. So the Earth's surface is curved. This is your point. This is your first point that you get marked. So, there's your connective. Here's the explanation. Heat radiation from the sun hits the surface at different angles. There's your mark. And the equator receives more. So again, we're extending it, we're developing it. So this is where you get the third mark there. Again, more concentrated because, due to. So again, we're showing those connectives to show those extra links in here. Again, sun's rays travel through less atmosphere at the equator. There's your point. Because, which means that. Look at the connectives. That's so important. Now we have a four marker. Explain two ways climate can influence the distribution of large scale ecosystems. So we need two distinct points and you need to extend those. You don't extend this one twice and this one just make a point. You have to extend them each equally. So four marks, have a go now. And here's the mark scheme for it. So you could have had really any two of these for the four marks. You get one mark for identifying the climate. So either linking it to temperature or precipitation of a large ecosystem and a further mark for the link to the distribution. OK, notice again, connectives. Tropical rainforests are found where it's hot and wet, which means that, which means that, due to, due to, due to, where. Those connectives are so important. Okay, so have a look at those. Have a look at some past papers and try some other ones. See if the patterns are the same for you there. Now we're looking at suggest. Now, suggest is very similar to explain. The difference being, though, is it refers to a location or a scenario that you won't have directly studied. And this is the question that people think, well, I've not studied that. I don't know that. How can I answer that question? Oh, my God, sir or miss is so rubbish because they never taught us that. Oh, my God, I'm failed because of that. It's not that. Suggest is supposed to be something you haven't come across before. But it should be similar to something that you have studied. So you've got to apply that. Think back, OK, well, what's similar to that? What reasons could that be? Use your common sense if you have some. Hopefully you do. Now, with explain, it's exactly the same. With two, three or four marks. Read the question and the marks available. And it's exactly the same as it was before for explain. For two marks, state, give a developed reason. For three marks, state a point, develop it, give an extension. And then the either or option for four marks. Again, connectives are so important. And sometimes if it's studying a resource, make sure you give information from the resource. So let's have a go at some questions. <clears throat> oh, and the mark scheme's already up there. Whoops, a daisy. But suggest one way the physical environment might influence the GDP of the country shown. So here we've got the country shown here. This is one of those that you think, oh, why are they missing? Well, you should be thinking, well, I needed to plot these answers in here. So what, you haven't studied the physical environment of these countries, but what could influence it? 
Notice you get one more for the physical factor and one more for explaining it. Look at the connectives. So they, which means allowing more, which will, which will. So they're taking the basic geography. There's the point, less fertile soil. So linking it to how the amount of farming, the quality of the environment, how good is it for farming? How might they make money out of it? Looking at a three marker, suggest one economic factor that has led to these areas having high growth. Now we saw this resource in the previous uh, video where we looked to describe the patterns. So sometimes you've got to re use the resource for one more thing. So suggest one economic factor, one thing to do with jobs, money, something that's going to lead to growth that has led to these areas having a high growth in GDP. So you're looking at places like China, India. We've got some of these coastal African nations. Why do you think they have had high GDP economic factors? Have a go, have a think about it, pause it now, off you go. And here are the answers in the mark scheme. So one mark for the identification of a factor and a further mark for the explanation. So there has been foreign direct investment, which has generated jobs, boosting the local economy. Notice how simple and straightforward these are. They're not anything too complex at all. It's just getting those key terms in, which has creating, which has due to. Again, so important to get these connectives in. But notice for all of these, there is always accept any other appropriate response. So even if you've given another factor which isn't listed there, as long as it's appropriate and correct, you'll get marks for it. But notice for the three marks, point, explain, extend, simple. Then we look finally at suggest two negative impacts on the environment of the trend in cereal grain production. Well, we haven't looked at cereal grain production in much detail, so we don't know. So use your common sense. Suggest two negative, read the restriction in the question, two bad things on the environment caused by this. So what do you think this increase in crops may have done? Have a think about it. Have a go at answering the question. And here's the mark scheme. So award one mark for identifying an impact and a further mark for explanation for what it's caused. Okay, so it might be greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere, reducing air quality, increasing problems of global warming. So this is just a bit of common sense here. Yeah, you don't need to know about the areas we're looking at or much about grain production, but it might be about habitat loss. It might be deforestation. Yeah, just use your brains. If they're having to increase the amount of cereals that's produced, then how are they going to do that? What might be the impacts of all of that? So that's the end for this one. This is looked at the explain and suggest questions. Have a look in the other videos of the series where we look at the simpler um, point mark uh, questions such as define, state, define, describe. Um, and we'll also look at examine and assess and evaluate in separate videos as well. So I hope you found that useful. Please feel free to look at this video as many times as you need to. Have a look at past papers, have a look at the different questions and work out what it looks like for yourself and how you should answer them for yourself. Always think about the connectives which help you demonstrate you've addressed the command word. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. Take care now. Bye.